I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. And what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. All right, guys, so welcome back to Splinter Cell Conviction. As I forget how to... Oh, I don't want to execute. I don't have any weapons on me either. Whoops. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's been a week. Well, not a week. Well, actually, no, it, it hasn't been anything because at the time of recording this, or at the time of this going up, I uh, would have already broken away from my hiatus. <clears throat> so, okay. But uh, as as you hopefully know, I did take a break and, from recording because I had to catch up on uh, school and uh, a stupid controller. This is the only thing I'm disliking right now about my Xbox experience is my controller because I have a poopy uh, uh, control stick that sticks like this. Like I'm not even pushing anything and it's just locking down. I can pretty much just walk through the game facing backwards right now. <sighs> Stop! Good grief. Alright, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Better be. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. Okay, well, that ought to be easy to do. Yeah, since, you know, we've never no. done this before, as far as I know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, change cameras. Uh, okay. Are they talking? Who am I... I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. Uh, am I listening in on these two? Cause I can't, I can't hear them. I can see them, but that's about it. Am I supposed to be doing anything? Have they started talking yet? I'm glad oh, you can go. make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here. Now, the site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several, <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Do you now? Uh, okay. I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like Samson. You don't like Samson? I don't trust Samson. But... Here. Incidentally, something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both more civilized than that. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him. Since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon it. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at time. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. 
I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. All right, so... Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Okay, cool. So, um, I couldn't hear about three-fourths of that, because my TV is Galliard. sort of turned down. Mr. Galliard, uh, can I? There we go. my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at 3rd Echelon. I know who you are. Do do do, do, how do we get up boss. here? What does Reed want now? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to talk over this since it's not even important. At least I don't think it is. Sides. Considering she's just distracting him anyways while I go up here and interrogate oh, Mr. President. Very thoughtful of him. Assuming this the is the president. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's Slide. anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. It's a slow walk. You really shouldn't talk to him like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? Where are your guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. Oh boy. Uh, what to do? What to do? We'll smash his head in these TVs. Maybe. No, no, don't, don't do and what I want. Just tired hell. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed. Bigger than Third Echelon. I they're just convenient. And why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. Well, they do. They do, do they? <laughs> How about that? He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. <sighs> this guy is just being difficult. Oh, come on. Was that necessary? That's, that's dirty, yeah. Sam. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo, who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Oh boy. Okay, can I get redemption on these TVs? <laughs> yes, I can. There we go. Ugh. That looks like Megiddo. it hurt. Megiddo, who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... What? Where do you get shot oh, from? Reed. Do you get shot through the TV? Oh, they in trouble! Sam? The TV. What's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. Well, time to we chase him. Alive. He may be our only link between third Am I sprinting? I guess I am. <laughs> Sam is not very fast. On the stage. And I run very, very weirdly. I wonder if I could just like jump down. No, I can't, because he would have looked it that way anyways. Alright, um. Yeah, I know he's in the VIP tent. Uh, whoops. Well, that's exactly not what I wanted to do. Anyways, it seems like this whole thing has just been a whole lot of talk. At least that. Whoa, that was. <laughs> that was fancy. Um, there he is. Um, yeah, it seems like the first like ten minutes has just been like all dialogue. So it's gonna be a relatively short. Oh, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do if I'm getting shot by cops? I'm just supposed to like wait it out and what? Do I have a gun at least? I mean, I wouldn't even check in. Do I have a gun? Do you have a gun? I don't have a gun. Great. No killing. President's orders. 
fine. This guy's a cop killer. Whatever. Do some of that. He's waiting for you. Ow, 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 ow. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I need to be going. Uh, obviously not here. Well, I'm probably gonna die again. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We're golden. And there's some more... What was that? Was that guy trying to stop me, or did he just, like, push him in the way? He's waiting for you again, Sam. He's waiting for me? Alright, well, I'll do some little slidey slides. Stay on him. I'm staying on him. At least as much as I can. I wish I could have just like thrown a rock at him or something. Or just like taken a gun from a guard and shot Jump him in down. the leg. Keep going, dead ahead. Ah no, wow, you just like man, he's getting the after him. There are a ton of people here. Uh where is he? He's this way, isn't he? Yeah, he's that way. There he is. Uh I'm having trouble keeping after him. Where'd he go? Where is he? We're just running in circles. Where did he go? He needs to stop. He's outside and on the move again, Sam. Where is the oh? He wasn't outside. He was standing. How did he run so fast? He was like he just exited the stupid thing. Uh, 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 oh, come on. I wanted to see if I could just like blow past him, but obviously Sam does not know how to maneuver. Need help? No, I don't need help. I don't need help. I just need cops to stop shooting me. I have to do all that again? Wow. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I was, like, back somewhere else. Uh, uh, uh. So, how exactly am I supposed to get past this? Do I, I'm just going to wait for them to stop shooting. What I mean is, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I just want to get past this little running bit because I don't like it. Catch the killer. Working on it. Didn't want to do that. Okay, that apparently worked. Uh, not this way. This way. There he is. If I remember correctly, he's gonna at some point. Wow, he's getting after it. I think at some point he like hides somewhere and then gets us. And I'm also talking over dialogue. Sorry. Uh, this way. Man, he's... Where is he going? Like, where are we? Get to his car. Where is his car? There it is. Or... I'm working on it. Wow. Holy... Well, that guy is dead. In theory, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. Okay. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they were able to shoot him. When the gloves are off, I need a ride out of here. Okay, now I have a gun. The secret service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. I I'm, I haven't really been paying attention to the dialogue either, because I can't hear. Uh, isn't there, is there a weapon cache anywhere? What weapons do I I don't have any. Where's the weapon cache? Oh. Hello, I did not want to do that. I don't know how to play this game anymore. <sighs> Good grief. I probably should have, like, reacclimated before I started recording this. Instead, I've just died at least three or four times, so... That makes for a, uh... I know how to aim, I know how to shoot. I don't know why I hit A, but... Well, I guess let's just go back upstairs. Uh, I, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, can I get over, no I can't. I can't take cover anywhere either. Uh, let's see. Anyone, my, my controller stick would, you know, not lock up on me here. Let's get a silent kill here. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Alright, fine. Give me your ump. I didn't want to jump. How do you take cover? Good grief. I thought it was A. Apparently not. And I cannot shoot anymore. Hello. Ah, oh, come on. How do you take cover? Oh, oh wait, I, I remember what cover is. I remember what it is now. 